Hello YouTube! My name is LegoCrop75. Today we have another Let's Play of Fallout New Vegas. So we last left off, last episode, we started the... Not titular, but we started the DLC of Honest Hearts. And now we're making our way through, that grabbing various components for these tribes, to help them out. I'll say, oh yeah. Free water. All the water here is clean anyway, so I might as well drink it for hydration. So yeah, we're just going to be doing that, and then afterwards, once all the quests have been completed, I'll be going around and finding all the extra goodies and unique weapons that can be discovered in the area. Because there's quite a bit, actually. Nope, that's uh, no go. Yeah. Oh, hello. Well, yep. That's that then. The remnants of Vault 22. Their hand sh once again showing their face. I think. I don't think that's how that goes. Whatever. So yeah, a lot of the people who escaped Vault 22 came here, and they escaped pretty early on too. It was during when the survivalist was still alive. They escaped, and then... Here made it go. to this valley, and the survivalist, well, he found them and then took care of them, because they were basically too far gone. Even people anymore. I don't know if there were more people or not, but they definitely... Definitely, uh, well, that's that then. not worth saving. I think it's the TLDR of that. How much XP we got? Aha! I made it. Good healing. Survivalist cash. Very good, very good. See, I think if I'm not mistaken, one of these. Oh, a stealth boy? One of these also has like a big book of science in it, too. Which is like really nice. Damn it. Wait, I have Mentats on me, don't I? I do. There we go. An RCW, really? Wow. And a bobby pin, holy crap. Ooh, oh yeah, time has passed. The coffers, oh yeah. So around this time is when the people from Vault uh, 22 came over here, and he called them the Coffers. All the people he killed that were infected, they ate them and then left. <laughs> For strength and struck out southeast victory. Ten months of killing. All I feel is cold. And they deserved every goddamn bit of it. January 17th, my birthday. How ironic. Uh, I was dreaming, but the screams were real. For a moment, I thought they'd tr tricked me. Just pretended to leave Zion. They then sent a patrol to track me down, but the screams were a woman's. Passageway to have a look. One vault, her ankle deep in bear trap. 
leveled by SMG, but the way she was crying stopped me. After all, something they caught in a vault they lived in. She never came down with it yet. So help me, I wound up being her noose, nurse. <laughs> I learned from my interrogations last year. Gotcha. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Oh, you still fighting something over there? What the hell? Kidding me? I have to. Well, I'm not reading, doing, redoing all that reading. Fuck that. Oh, God damn it. You're, you're choking me though. The way I heard it, salt upon wounds butchered everyone in New Canaan. They nailed their corpses to the cliffs. Wait, it was just those two enemies that ca well, killed him? Are you serious? He couldn't even fight those? Why? so upset right now. I mean, I'm glad I don't have to redo any of the reading, but like, shit, dude. Like, the hell. Ha. <sighs> it's like, I just pull out, and it's like, oh, he's dead. I'm like, okay, that explains... That answers my question of can the companion to this DLC die? Yes. Yes, they can. Do not let them out of your sight unless you don't care, give a shit if they die or not. Sadly, I kind of do, at least until the quest is over. Oh my god.
There we go. Okay. Now we're all said and done. Nothing else to worry about. Oh. Yeah, there's no way I can lockpick that, even if I had my lockpicking magazines. No way that's happening. Alright, we'll be saved now. Just to, just so I don't have to... Oh, wait, I need to get the notes, though. For, from the uh, terminal. Take the C4, why not? Good money and all that. Ooh, starting to get a little, little glitchy. Hopefully that doesn't really continue being the case, but we'll see. And uh, Sydney area, take those. Oh my god. I can't believe though that a plant and a smaller beast creature was too much for him. Like, what the hell, man? I mean, I know he's only armed with a, with a Colt 1911, but, like, still. Like, what the hell? Literally can't look away for, like, two seconds, otherwise he just fucking gets murdered. Okay, so where did I come from? I hear some odd things about the civilized lands outside Zion. Is there really a giant thunder lizard people live inside? A giant thunder lizard that people live inside. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, where did I... Which direction did I come from? I mean, cave fungus, yay, but like... Let's just back up the way we came from. Oh, that's... <laughs> so it's... Oh, it's right here. Okay. There we go. Tricky dicky stiff st st stuff right there. Oh no, I got that good. It's not like you don't collect all the bulbs, so it's kind of confusing sometimes as to what it is you have and haven't collected. I was just wondering to see if I could go that way, and now my answer was very much question was very much answered. <sighs> I don't have a doctor's bag. God, this sucks so hard. Ooh, it's raining. Do I have any hydra by chance? I think if I use that, that could help. Nope. Okay, he's good in health. and talk to you right now, Chalk. Just, I don't. And now I'm walking even slower because my leg is broken. Although apparently sleeping helps. Oh shit, Mori. Yo, 
yo, there's so much yellow flag going on right now. Like, holy fucking shit, bro. Yagwa, yagwa, yagwa. Cells. All right, I mean, I'll, I'll take that. And... For as long as I remember, the dead horses have thought that places of the old world were taboo. Doesn't look so spooky to me. Oh, Mentats are still going strong. supply kit is mostly intact, but several of these sterile bandages have been broken open, and the disinfectant bottle is leaking. You can try to salvage what's there, or you can find replacements for the contaminated components. Alternately, you can use alcohol to re-sterilize the bandages. Oh, medicine 30 or greater required. money I'll take. Oh my god. This is so bad. I hope I can find a doctor's bag. And he was even thinking too, like I should bring one with me just in case something bad happens. Because even with power armor, unless you have like adamantium skeleton on as a perk, you still run the risk of your limbs getting broken in two. It's awful. Crap, that is a massive mantis. Yep, chose a strike a pose. can come back to this area and just find it later down the line. It gives you money instantly too because of it being a DLC and whatnot. Um, we need one more, right? Five, yeah. Why do you carry all those bottle caps anyway? They jangle like crazy. Shush. Oh, wow. Oh. All right. <laughs> That's funny. Shipping error. Boris Applebaum out of
Nevada. How the hell did they get here? Can actually sell people. <laughs> oh, that's funny and sad. Uh, where's the other lunch? I always get to a. Uh... Okay, cool. Yeah, where the hell is it? Oh, so annoying. They don't outright tell you either where it is, because, like, you know, why the hell should they? The fuck? Where the hell is this thing? Oh my god. Ugh. Frustration. Tourist trap, that's funny. <laughs> Delivery, deliverer of sorrows, that's funny. Now I gotta hobble over there, fun. I'm just gonna watch my character hobble. Oh, uh, okay, we're good, we're doing good. Jesus Christ, this sucks. I mean, if I can find a bed, I'll be good, but like, this still, you know, sucks. Got that done. Seriously though, like, what's with all go. the... What is with all the Yaogwai? I don't get it. Like, I'm not complaining, it gives me all the Yaogwai meat I could ask for, but... Crap, man. Oh, please, no. Can't use stim packs. Hey, I heard it. Salt upon wounds butchered everyone in New Canaan and nailed their corpses to the cliffs. Yes, I know you keep telling me that, Chalk. Hmm. Let's see. Well, I could fall gracefully down, I should be fine. Tell me there's a doctor's bag in here. Nope. Nope. Yeah, might as well drink some victory water, I guess. I don't fucking know. Jesus. Joshua Graham sent to us. Blessings of the Father in the cave on you. Daniel is waiting for you. Asaro's Yaogwai fist is a sacred symbol. It shows that we belong to the tribe and have willingly undertaken a dangerous quest to aid the tribe. Each sorrow makes his own. 
And only after hunting and slaying a Yao Guai that threatened our people. Our shaman, White Bird, oversees the rites. Perhaps if you spoke to him, he would allow you to undertake such a quest. Cool. Rite of Passage. Waking Cloud is my name. I am midwife to the Sorrows. It sounds ill omen, no? Midwife to Sorrows? <laughs> The children and the old have already been evacuated from the camp. They are safe enough, unless the White Legs come for us in force. I tend to other hurts and sicknesses that afflict our tribe. I also scout the valley for the herbs I use in my medicines. What would you speak of? Daniel is a wise man and a great friend to the Sorrows. He taught me to speak the language of New Canaan, the English, from the <laughs> holy books. Yes, the language of the New Canaanites is the holy tongue, for it is the language their sacred books are written in. The father in the caves brought it to them after the judgment, but the ancestors of the sorrows sinned against him. They were denied the true tongue. Uh -huh. Six years. He attended the birth of my third child. It was a hard birth. The river nearly carried my water to the father, and my child's with it. Daniel knew the ways of New Canaan's medicine. He stepped in and saved both of our lives. After the birth, I asked Daniel if he would teach me what he knew of childbirth. He agreed, and so here I am. Right on. What would you speak of? Who or what is the father in the cave? Have you not heard of the god of the new Canaanites? He is our protector and our judge. He helped our ancestors find their place here in Zion. He gave us many gifts, but we are not to seek him out. His caves are forbidden to us. Those who seek them out are taken from us. Perhaps you do not fully understand the new Canaanites. I have seen the father's images. His holy bride and holy son were given unto the world to save it. <laughs> they dwelt in the caverns of the mountains, caverns which can still be seen today. The people sinned against him and were punished with the end that came in fire and the loss of the holy tongue. Only the new Canaanites were spared. <sighs> I'm sure Daniel could tell you more. His knowledge of the Father is greater than my own. We have dwelt in the... Hold on. Okay, we're, yeah, we'll keep going. Narrows since the end that came in fire. When the Father in the caves punished the world and made us forget the Holy Town. Oh my god. We have had good relations with the other tribes in the valley. At least before salt upon wounds brought his white legs here. We have Daniel to thank for our continued existence. His advice and help has kept the White Legs from overrunning us so far. I do not know how long even he can protect us, though. What do you know about Salt Upon Wounds? He is War Chief of the White Legs, and the worst butcher of them all. The tribes he has crushed are many. The warriors he has slain countless Then I will look forward to our next speaking Oh, there's Daniel. I'm sleeping on his damn bed. Thank God. 
only way to heal my goddamn fucking legs. Sleeping. Yeah, damn it. Nope, that didn't work. God damn it. Wait, isn't Daniel a fucking, uh, doctor, though? Oh my god, where the hell is he? Oh shit, there he is. Okay. Okay. There can't really be a place where people go into big buildings and give away all their money just to watch someone flip paper square. The dead horse has told me details about the attack on your caravan. A stranger's sympathy might not count for much, but for what it's worth, I'm sorry. The Sorrows will mourn your friends, too. They mourn everyone, even the White Legs. They have sensitive souls. Innocent, if there is such a thing. In spite of what's happened, I hope that Joshua and I can help you out of here. But to be frank, we need your help, too. Well, I'll be. I was starting to lose hope we'd be able to get any of this, much less all of it. Tribals are smart, but, well, they're ignorant. Yeah. Letting go of a taboo is difficult for them. So I knew it would have to be one of us. Turns out all it took was a Gentile, or, uh, no offense. No offense. These supplies are a godsend. But if we're going to evacuate Zion without drawing more white leg attention, I need you to go back into the valley. Specifically? I need you to scout out some locations for White Legs and try to recover a map of Grand Staircase, a wilderness area to the east. There's also the matter of the roads. We're going to be heading out of the east side of the park, but I'm not sure the way is clear. I appreciate the enthusiasm. There aren't a lot of people in the wasteland with kindness to spare for anyone who isn't kin. Since you've been poking around the valley, you might see more activity from the White Legs. One of the Sorrows hunters, Waking Cloud, has volunteered to help guide you through the valley. She has a special talent for staying out of sight. After this, it's just a matter of getting everyone out of here safe and sound. And hopefully, you can head back to the Mojave without any more trouble. Well, here we part ways. I'm needed back at the Dead Horses camp. Maybe I'll see you there sometime. I will. Good gunning, Akis. Alrighty. I'm glad to see you're still with us. How can I help you? Father in... Uh, oh, right. He's some spirit the Sorrows used to believe in. Watched over them from the caves in the valley. They marked some of the caves around here because they think they'll be punished for going inside. I think as more of them learn the teachings of the new Canaanites, they'll lose their old superstitions. Uh, you might want to have a chat with them. They think your lord and the father are the same. Oh? Oh. <sighs> of course. How stupid of me. They probably also think Mary is the mother and Jesus is the child. No wonder they picked up on things so easily. I guess it just goes to show how difficult it is to communicate sometimes. If you could part with it, healing powder would be welcome. We have enough stim packs for now, but we can't rely on that small supply. Brock and Xander plants can be found throughout the valley, and you might even find some on white legs you come across. Ah, oh, that's great news. We can use anything you can offer. Thanks. Even one dose can make a difference. Oh, hey. Karma. There's an old saying that goes, if you want peace, get ready for war. You've got me figured half right. I'll shoot dead any white leg that tries to creep into this camp. But it's only to protect the sorrows. The Lord helps those who help themselves. But the sorrows don't know how. Joshua and I do. Since I got them into this mess, I need to get them out.
There is an important difference between killing in defense and waging war. Even a Gentile like you should know that. Joshua is a living Bible of all mankind's miseries of war. The debt he has levied through his actions, he repays every day. He is a monument both to God's unending forgiveness and to humanity's unfathomable capacity for cruelty. It's written on every inch of his body. When you look at him, do you only see a man of God? Beneath those bandages, he is burned flesh. As he burns, so does he consume everyone around him. Joshua wants to fight because the white legs have stoked the naked flame inside of him. You, you see the light, but do not yet feel the heat. I can pray that you never will, but it isn't up to me, and it isn't up to God. It's up to Joshua. I used to help the Sorrows with various medical problems and general issues they were having, but my bishop sent me here as a missionary. We new Canaanites believe that there is a path to salvation for everyone, and it's important that we set people on that path if they are willing. I'm trying to make amends for allowing our problem to become their problem. The new Canaanites, I mean. The White Legs have always fought with us. And with Joshua returning, Caesar has motivated the White Legs to stamp out the new Canaanites entirely. That means the tribes we work with, too. It's already happened. I just want to prevent something terrible from happening to the Sorrows. Yes. But not just White Legs. Raiders, too. Prospectors. Slavers. Anyone who thinks they can exploit the ignorant and the innocent. Yeah, we the lost truth. the Tar Walkers. And the Crazy Horns. We did our best, but we made mistakes. We paid for them. But they paid more. I'd like to get out from under that debt someday. Until then, it's enough to stop ourselves from getting deeper in the hole. To remove the sorrows from harm's way. I have to give credit to the White Legs for finding their way here. Though I imagine many died in the process. But they can't follow us east. Not into the Grand Staircase. They don't know how to live off the land. We head there. We can find some safety. Of course. They're hateful savages who live only to plunder and okay, we're good. destroy. Their leader is a devil called Salt Upon Wounds. War is all he knows. Everything he has, everything that tribe has, was taken by force, raiding, and scavenging. It's said there's no man deadlier at close range. That that power fist of his has smashed a hundred skulls. Maybe that's true, but so what? It's a low form of leadership. A tribe that knows only war has no future. And so he'll lead them to Caesar. Oh, thank God. I should be able to address most common problems. What's the matter? Broken leg. Yeah, you don't look too bad. Shouldn't take much to get you fixed up. Wow. Thanks. Hold still. You'll be better in no time. That is 150 bottle caps. I'm glad to see you're still with us. How can I help you? Until then. Alright, good, that fixed my fucking leg, thank god. Hell, why is there just a pile of blood there? Is that me? Did I bleed there? Alright. Oh, right, I know why. the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it even to the foundation. 
O oh, daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be, that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be, that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. Do you know what it means? Given those two choices, yes. In the best of all possible worlds, they would just leave us in peace. But they won't. I don't enjoy killing, but when done righteously, it's just a chore, like any other. Practiced hands make for short work, and the good Lord knows there's much to be done here. Happy are those who do the work of the Lord, Zion belongs to God and the people of God. It is a natural temple and monument to his glory. When our Lord entered the temple and found it polluted by money changers and beasts, did he ask them to leave? Did he cry? Did he simply walk away? No. He drove them out. It is one thing to forgive a slap across my cheek, but an insult to the Lord requires... No, it demands correction. Then as a Gentile, you should find this to be even more beneficial. If the sorrows stay in Zion, you will always have a link to New Canaan. If the sorrows leave Zion, so too do the New Canaanites. What's more, you'll have more white legs coming farther south. You may not be concerned over matters of faith, but this is a case where faith and practicality coincide. No one wants the white legs here. We just need to convince Daniel that it's our responsibility to ensure that doesn't happen. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, okay, now we can fast travel. Sweet! Oh, we got... oh yeah, we're going this way. Oh, where, where did the lady go? Eh, I'm better off without her, honestly. Ooh, green geckos. Acid spitters. Yeah, no, she's just not here with me. I don't understand what I did to get her to not come with me. Oh well. The Lord Death of Murder Mountain. Hell yeah. <laughs> Come on! What the hell? Another crash? <sighs> oh my goodness. Honestly, I think I might just end this episode here. Since, you know, so far at the 44 minute mark. Well, anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope to see you in the next one. Take care, and have a wonderful day.